One example of digital and open content in action is the work of Paul Allison, a high school English teacher in New York City. Paul has worked with New York City Writing Project's Youth Voices Initiatives and Peer-to-Peer -peer University to experiment with an innovative new curriculum based on Common Core standards. This curriculum includes a series of learning challenges for English language arts, history social studies, arts and media, and science. These challenges incorporate competencies such as citing evidence in conversations, independent reading, text-dependent research, formulating arguments in areas of interest, and self-directed learning. Yeah, it's different because um, usually we would have like classrooms, but now we do all of our work on computers. So it's like we manage our own classes and our own time period. So it's kind of different now because everything is on the computer. So Paul set up a grid for us, if you can see it like this. Uh -huh. And it has all the stuff that we need to do for each subject. And we just cross it out every time we complete one of the tasks. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I'm doing like uh, like two grids because I need two Englishes. So I did about like, I say like eight on both. Well, my, my economic paper is on um, which president um, has the best economic proposal. So that's what I'm working on in economics. Wow. So basically, um, I had to do research on Obama and Mitt Romney and see which economic proposal I like the best and which economic proposal is better for the economy. Like the way you research is like annotating and then after you annotate, you go into the dialectical notes mm -hmm. and then you write your draft and, and the essay and just put it all together. Um, well my, my topic is um is like how does music affect mood so I'm like looking up that stuff mm -hmm. but right now I'm actually working on a book because there's like independent reading yeah. so I'm reading the book and like I have to do stuff on that and I'd rather do that. But. Students can also earn badges for the work they complete. Yes, yeah, it's you basically just it. like after you finish the assignments or whatever on the PTP thing, you can just they give you the badges like after you finish all four of the one set thing. So, yeah. Um, I like it because it shows us like what we earned. So, like so far, I have two, and I feel good about myself because I accomplished something. So, yeah, it, it makes me feel good. Like it shows me that I can do more. So, and it like, it pushes me to earn more badges and stuff, so, yeah, I, I enjoy it because it's independent work, and uh, I'm a very independent person, so, yeah. like, I can accomplish something and just go on my own, but sometimes, like, I would, like, I, I, when I'm stuck, like, I need a teacher's help, and, like, I usually I do this when I'm home, so, I, it's just hard, like, I don't have a teacher there to tell me or help me, so I just have to wait until the next day for me to see the teacher, and that's it. I'm just Hon getting used to it. Honestly, I feel like, like, the computer helps a lot, because it's on the computer or whatever, but even if the assignments weren't on the computer and it was just independent work, it would still kind of be the same, like, thing. This curriculum is collaborative and open. In fact, students can and have improved upon the challenges and other teachers can clone any of these challenges and modify them to best meet the needs of their own students. This innovative experiment combines all the elements we've talked about common core alignment, digital content, openness, personalization, and relevance.